Dear McAllister, this is going to sound like we're breaking up. Don't worry, we're not. Not officially, anyway. We're merely taking a break. Okay, that sounds worse than it is. But yes, a break nonetheless. Look, Mac, I need this. Mentally, physically, emotionally, you are becoming too much for me. Perhaps I've been too clingy, hanging on these past two years and using you for all you were worth. I've been reveling in your beauty too long, yes, even in the dark and cold of winter, and it's time to branch out. I'm convinced I have to see what else is out there. Mac, I have to leave, but I suspect I will come back only loving you more. I'll miss you, of course. I'll miss your humanities building. I'll miss the Russian art on the second floor, the TV on the first. I'll miss my quad, the main quad, Kagan, specifically the CDC. Mostly, I'll miss the family of awesome, hilarious, beautiful, and kind friends that you've gifted me. These friends remind me that life is funny, and sometimes you have to laugh at the ridiculousness. These friends share an enthusiasm to do good in this world that is downright infectious. These friends listen to me patiently as I philosophize and mispronounce words. These friends allow me to cry, even if it's at midnight, and they have stuff to do, and I have stuff to do. These friends make it easier to be a thousand miles away from home. These friends provide me the grace and humility necessary for me to continue growing and learning and thriving. If life is just a series of arrivals and departures, then I better get used to this now. See you in 2015, McAllister. All my love, Lizzie.